Hey guys, we're skipping everything. Um, welcome back to As Dusk Falls, I think, is the name of this game. I am pretty sure. Discover it? Okay. Alright. Sure. Sure. Anyways, we're back with this game. It's It's been a while since I've played it. Uh, I think it was 10 days, which isn't a long time, but uh, I'm going to forget some stuff. So, we'll see how long this chapter is. Uh, May 30th, 1998, Desert Dream Motel, Arizona. I, uh, I guess, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. I have a, I have a Gatorade here. It's more of a happy ending, but everyone looks so sad. Shaken up, I suppose. Oh yeah, I guess it's cause the the guy, yeah. Yeah, I guess I didn't really know if he was okay. Shit, sorry, I have to get like situated in my chair. I started recording in an uncomfortable position, so now I'm gonna fucking uh. Three days later, Arizona State Route 89. Route 89? Who knows? What I do know is I'm very sleepy at the moment. And that's going to dampen my speed, speed re, speedy reflexes uh, for the QTEs. Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. That was a terrible accent. Um, what if we just ask for a water? Want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that, fella. <sighs> now, how's that for double luck? Excuse me, are you headed north? How far? As far as you'll take me. Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? This guy sounds like a villain. Shit. 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 Okay. All right. Um. I'm wanted by the cops. FBI too. <laughs> For what? Not turning in your homework? <laughs> Sorry, kid. I can't get mixed up in it. What if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, uh, what the hell. I'm bored. Maybe you just didn't believe us. 27. Your turn. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Was that right? Looks like we just passed out for a second. I've played before. Ready for round two? Forty-seven. So I just gotta like, do I have to wait for the the reticle to like land in the middle? Try to get a bullseye? Because I feel like it's just hovering. No. That was pretty good, I think. I guess so. What's that? 25? Hey, 
Slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drink. Final round. Stakes are high. Dog, I've only played darts and Yakuza. Like, it does the score for me. I don't fucking know what's going on now. I don't think I will, but I might. Did I win? You sharking me? I ain't got no patience for sharks. I guess I won. Oh, shit. Eighteen-year-old male, sand-colored hair, connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock. Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves eighteen-year-olds? I don't think we should. I'll keep it busy. Okay, I guess we should. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. This one's personal. No. I'm not taking the pool stick, dog. Never mind. That's something else entirely, I guess. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. I thought that was supposed to be me oh, grabbing you. the pool stick. So I'll be honest. Fuck. Well, you look pretty young. Just okay. All right, I guess it's not. Uh, I thought we're just gonna attack her. I think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy Gene who comes around for dinner. Kyle. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Lyle. Oh shit! I thought it was gonna be a swipe. Did you Fuck. see a teenager or not? No, I ain't seen a kid. But if I did, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. Okay, we got a, a good outcome, I suppose. I guess if I failed that QTA, I would have been caught or something. I don't know. Maybe it would have been like a run, a chase sequence. Guess you weren't fucking around back there. Tell me the truth. Kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus, all that shit from TV. I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? Um, okay. I feel like there's explaining we need to do, and we can't do it with two options. Uh, what if I did, I guess? That sounds snippy, though. So what if I did? I have a feeling. Summer of 87. Buddy and I rub a That's a good game. Up in Reno. When the cops find us, I get scared and run. They beat me to an inch of my life. My pal, black guy named Dave. But yeah, it wasn't so lucky. Come on, let's get you. I feel like we could have really explained ourselves then and there, you know, but I guess we have time on the on the ride. I feel like this guy just needs to live a normal life. And things will be okay. We also need some new clothes, because uh, we look pretty sketch dressed like that. So maybe that should be on the uh, list of things to do first. Wanted in 
But isn't there like a 18 year old male is, you know, a very generic and broad, you know, description of somebody. I think as long as we don't act weird, we'll be okay. Is this a correct call? Yes. Please state your name. Mm. Teddy Roosevelt. Let's just say Dean. Even though Teddy Roosevelt would be a cool one. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Whoa, whoa, whoa slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? Shit, I should. I I feel like keeping her in the dark is probably for the best because of her father. Let's just say family problems. I had this argument with my brother. He said, "Well, it don't matter." But I left. I ran away. Shit. I mean, the people at the bar were cool, but uh, she might let something slip. It's too late. On my own now. I've got nothing to eat. No money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the uh the Sabrina Hotel? I'll book you a room. You can order room service, take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. She's very... Um, trusting, I guess? God, I don't want to involve her, to be honest. But I feel like this isn't going to, like, no, convince her. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But, are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. How soon is soon? Didn't we just drive for like a full fucking day? Unless she's booking the hotel and then we're gonna, you know, check in and wait for her. I don't know. What does... Dale? Dale? Is his name Dale? What does Dale here got to bring to the story now? Probably gonna regret this. But right now you're all I need. His voice just doesn't match his face. Two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. What's got you sober? Someone break into Dale's house? Hello? Who, who's there? Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta get ready for a QTE.
I'm just not gonna attack. Paul, what are you doing? It's me. Oh God, Sharon. S -s sorry, sorry. You you can. Jesus, I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a. What you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. <sighs> Bike blew a tire. The first mile. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? But wait, Paul. Poor Dale. Who the fuck is Paul? That motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost her home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Where's the other dude? Mexico? I thought you'd be over the border by now. Oh. It all turned to shit, Paul. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look Still not a bad situation, like dude. Stray, sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. Are you hurt? Let's be considerate because, well, she's not trying to hurt us. Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry. I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Didn't say nothing about Tyler, though. You say you lost him? That damn bike. Cops were on our tails. They held him off. Told me to meet him at that old church out by Greenbell. Two nights I waited. Don't know where he is, but after what he saw them do to Dale, my beautiful Dale, he'll stay one step ahead. I know he will. Sorry. And Jay, he got away too, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this with a few thousand dollars. What is he looking at? Those thugs killing us. Or for? All because of their dad. We both had dreams once, remember? I was going to expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast to coast motorcycle trip you said you were going to do? Also, every time I reset my fucking computer, GoXLR resets my voice monitoring shit. So if I turn it down so I can barely hear myself, when I reset it, it's just like, nah, bitch. You're gonna yell into your own fucking ears. Uh, huh? Um, no, it's terrible. Always used to dream I'd find a girl, settle down. Then I met my wife, and for a while at least it came true. But I'm always too lazy to lower it before I record. Maybe I can lower it now. That won't fuck with anything, right? God damn it, what if I get a QT when I try to do this? I'm scared to even try to pause the game. Oh, never mind, it pauses. Okay, let me do this. Because it's driving me crazy. Alright, let me let me keep this keep this window here. Um, headphones, level, uh uh, is that a hundred? I uh, I guess that's cool. I think, uh, mic monitor, let's drag that down to 50%, okay, that's as low as it'll go, so, oh, fuck, no, no, back to controller, please, fuck, shit, okay, there we go, there we go, okay, ah, oh, shit, fuck, 
I like this better. Uh, even though like, you know, Bear always said it just it just makes it just like uh, 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 the the monitoring makes me feel like I'm yelling at myself. So I'm trying to talk uh, lower and and uh, a, a different tone, so I don't deafen myself. I hate audio. Audio sucks. Also, what the fuck is going on between these two, dude? What if I hit her with a fucking... What if I did hit her with that thing? Um, should have been... Yeah, uh... You don't mean that. You don't fucking mean that at all. You never look twice at me. I always had a soft spot for you. Life just took us two different ways. You've always been a good friend. I want this character to make all the wrong decisions, to be honest. I no one else to turn to. You were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe? That was... If I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? To be honest, though, we forgot the code, so that was kind of, you know, pointless. So you shouldn't feel that bad. Refuse the drink, because... Fuck, I did say wrong decisions. But this is this is a very important decision in this man's life, so we're going to refuse it so he can continue to be... Paul? Part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. You take both shots. Nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Is she gonna blackmail him? Oh, shit. You're blackmailing me? Sounds ominous. It does sound ominous. Let's go with that option. Why does that set alarm bells ringing in my mind? Jeez. You never used to be this paranoid. Those bells are already ringing. We could both end up in jail without lifting another finger. But there's a way out for us. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bells. This Don't woman's sneaky. From criminals ...and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> the cash in his safe... That was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. I don't know where that is. Are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. I feel like I'm gonna have to write something down for this. We expose Dante for what he is. Darn. Getting this fucking notepad near. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. All right. Look, I know you don't believe me when I say we should have been together, but I say this is my chance to prove I mean it. You can stay here in two rock and drink yourself into oblivion. Or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see your boys again. That doesn't mean I can't help them. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come the correct on. choice is no, but the fun choice is yes. Oh. Does it's me? Open up. Shit. It's Dante. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fancy seeing you here. Nice disguise. Um yeah, let's keep it casual and cool. 
You know, because we are casually cool. Hey, cool outfit. Okay. Yeah, right. I was so busy packing for the road that I forgot what I was wearing. Can I come in? Huh? <gasps> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? Yeah, wait, what? You don't owe me anything. Even? Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. Oh, you're welcome. That's worthy of $200. You are really kind. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. So thank you very much for this money. You might be the nicest person I ever met. <laughs> I promise. I'm not. Yo, what if she's a serial killer? Why are you helping me? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away from everything. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just. If you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. I didn't ask who my real parents were. Oh, Ian. You must feel terrible. I don't like the look of this guy's face right now. I feel lost. They betrayed me. Can't process it. Um, we're lost. We're lost. We're a little kitten lost in the woods. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. It's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Well, tell it to you. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? Yeah, credit card trails, dude. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you oh, fuck. Fuck. follow me? Oh no. You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. Oh no. <laughs> oh, fuck, we're gonna die. It's none of your business. What do you mean? Is it milk? What I mean? Why no? I didn't see the tap, it was a very bright background. Do you want to turn out like your brother? Until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill him. You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. Uh oh. We don't want to look weak. We gotta look strong. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Hurry! This is not a good idea. You. Hey, how's it going, sir? Uh, she got down there fast. Oh, fuck. Spider-Man. Dude, he's just gonna shoot us. That's what's gonna happen. Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! Oh, shit. We need to get out of here. You mean together? I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? 
You mean hotwire it? Dale showed me once. This is different, but I think it's these ones. Oh, fuck. Dude, you little fucker. Oh, bro, I hate circling, dude. I hate the circling part. Ah! I had to palm that shit. Man's going to kill me. He is going to absolutely murder me. It can't be true. Oh shit. This is gonna sound crazy. But I think my daughter just ran off with Those are some very uh detailed photos. Uh how did they get those photos? They're like <laughs> they're perfect. Fuck, now I feel like we should be honest with her about the police, but maybe it's wrong? I don't know. We have to be careful. Uh, Vanessa? I'm sorry, I'm not good with the names that I don't want to remember. We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad's going to be looking for you. He didn't see the car, and it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. I think he did see the car, and, uh, so maybe. You're really going to Canada. They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish. Live in the forest? The only thing is how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I got all we can. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from the payphone. That's evidence. Bad habit. Shouldn't smoke that. Okay. <coughs> She's so cool. I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad. He was tough on her. On all of us. I can't believe he followed me to Utah. He doesn't know you. He's worried. He he is probably worried. We are uh we are on the news, so he's uh I'm sure he's a tad worried. He must care about you. He came all this way. No. He wants to be in control. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? I'm doing this, aren't I? I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl is stealing his car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Uh. Lie to a girl I like. Damn, that's poetic. Lie about myself to someone I like. What was the lie? Who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me. 
Uh oh. My brother's friend. Do you really think he'll help me? I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. <laughs> I said, open up. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Uh... Shit. Ah, if we see nothing, he probably sees our vehicle. Just a minute. Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself. What is that? Hide that. I thought it was an oil spill. Anything else? The glasses. Hey, waiting out here like a prick. Get your pants on, I'm coming in. That must be everything, yeah? Kitty bike out front. See that? Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much. After what he's been through. Right. Oh, you look a little flushed. <laughs> Got some of your stuff to be safe from the fire. Tools and whatnot. It would have been smarter to leave one glass of alcohol out. Uh, thanks. Just so we can use that as, as an excuse or like a talking point. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? I might take a vacation. Might take a Take a trip, see the world, live a little, you know? Yeah, live a little, huh? <laughs> Damn, if I weren't in the middle of this shit storm from hell, I'd be on that next greyhound behind you. <laughs> oh, look at this little man eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole, you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun. What do you do? Hmm? Oh, shit. Fuck. Uh, is there something I'm supposed to be... There we go. Almost didn't see it. Hey, cuz. Talking to you. you. You knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? 
Look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah. Guess not. He looks very jumpy. This. Oh no. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? I'm going to say that you ended the standoff, dear cousin. I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. That's what. And now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. I even bet he hates my guts. He did those whole boys a blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm. <laughs> what a week. Sharon. Yeah, she did what's coming to her. Whatever rock she's crawled under, I'll find her. So help me God. Uh, we should just... I don't know why we would say closer than you think. That's just a dumb thing to say. You're right. Her luck will run out someday. Oh, you bet. The past always catches up with you. One way or another. Hey, you know we had history, right? Back when I was a deputy. Wanted me to leave Becky for her. Of course, she was much better looking back then. That's oh, right. fuck. Oh, no. It was the other way around. That you wanted her to leave Bear. <laughs> no, you got your wires all crossed there, Paul. That bitch. Some bullets in my time, cousin, but <laughs> that one. Hmm. Ah, fuck. God damn it. We gotta warn him. Behind you, look out. the scissors I am not going to jail I'm not you're just gonna have to kill me don't think I won't do this Sharon I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done you and me both know that's not why you're taking me in this guy hasn't won a fight yet <laughs> You ain't getting it. I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money. Paul, how could you do this to me? I saved your fucking life. Um. Uh, uh, I'm sorry is not an option where it should be. Uh, you deserve it. Fuck you, I guess. I know where that money comes from. Sharon told me everything. You don't know the half of it. You take her side over mine, 
Your own blood? I know meta information you that you're the, the bad spot? guy, so. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. You know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. We can be free together. You can do this. I know you can. Let's help Sharon. What has Dante done for us? He can't even win a fight. Okay. Wasn't expecting to do that. Let's go. I thought we'd just hold him up and uh, leave. Sorry, Dante. God, if there's a s swirly one. Okay, good, good. Oh, thank fuck. It's on the engine one way. Stop the engine. Right. Just do it, Paul. Step on it. Oh, shit. Later that night, Idaho Falls. We're going to a party. Okay. Sure. This shirt. You sure we fit in? Well, it's all we can find. Excuse me? Have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. This isn't good. There's too many people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No. My dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? I'm good. I'm good, dog. Not for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight. Yes. Yes. Some shiny looking pizza. God, fuck, I'm getting hungry. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. I'm glad you're having a fun time. Glad you're having so much fun. This is the absolute best I have ever felt in my whole entire life. We should take some pills with us for the road. Uh, maybe. I'm gonna go get a soda. Okay. Who 
should turn that TV off. That should be a thing we should, uh, we should not have that on. We should really turn that off. Luckily, I don't think anyone can hear it, so. Last person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Walk in or wait outside? Let's walk in and join the conversation. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? I'm her friend. We go to school together in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo will fucking do. Now get out of my room or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. Aren't they cousins? Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but... That looks screams, I don't like this guy, but just let me handle it. It's a bad idea. That's that's temptation right there. I'll be at the car. We don't need the police to arrive. Still feel amazing? Dean, why did you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. But I did snag this. So did the two of you. Did you... Uh, wait, are you jealous? Yes. I don't know. Maybe. That was not a... That was not a yes. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother, and when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID stuff? He won't help with that. Wanted too much. How much? A blowjob. <sighs> Just forget about it, okay? He's a fucking asshole. But he's not worth it. Um, let him get away with it. I feel like it would piss her off if we went in there and caused a scene. I wish you'd told me the truth. Maybe I should have. Look, I saw a campsite off the highway. I still feel pretty good. How about we go have our own after party? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm so fucking sleepy. I feel like I lose track of time when I play this game. Even though, like, I know beforehand it's gonna be a- it's gonna, I'm gonna be sitting in this chair for a bit. Um... I've been recording for almost an hour and it doesn't feel like it. Idaho, huh? 
This game is really good at making me lose track of time. Something. But it's also good at reminding me. Since each chapter's like around an hour. They'll probably sit and talk and then I'll probably wrap up. Or we'll go back to uh Paul and uh Sharon, whatever her name is. Football players, mathletes, the future farmers of America. They're different. I don't know, but real somehow. Not trying to be. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you I I just feel happy, free. I trust you, you know. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Okay, if this was a movie, how would it play out? We would tell her that we lied, she would get pissed off, and she would leave. Or, depending on the director, we tell her we lied and she forgives us. If we don't risk it and she finds out later, which with the odds are her father knows, so she'll know at some point. So she's going to find out at some point. I can't keep her away from her father forever. So that information's enough for me just to tell her. That she's going to find out eventually. Okay. And if I didn't run away from my family, if they made me do something bad, I I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that until we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, the hold up at this motel on 366. Oh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea, but the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Did Jay know about the book? Because we should just tell everyone about the book. Just in case, you know? Are you angry? It's... It's just a lot. Why did you tell me? She got closer, that's a good sign. You trust me. And... I trust you too. More than I trust anyone. Sorry, I... I don't know why I did that. Choose carefully, fuck you. I feel like it's not gonna end well for these characters. Nice. They're gonna get dailed. Real nice. Just yeah, fucking you executed. When you get to tell you. Wait, we? What? You thought I was gonna miss out on all that maple syrup? That might be racist. I'm coming with you. You can't. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm wanted by the FBI. Dean, or Jay, I guess. I haven't had a life in Two Rock since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform, helping Mima, waiting for permission. But you know what? I don't need permission. This is my chance to become someone new. Do you not want me to come? Shit. 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 I feel like he would say yes. But I think story-wise... I think story-wise it's better if she does come. That opens up more uh, possibilities. Of course I do. But... Are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay. Then let's go to Canada. Then let's go to Canada. A. Eh? Jay, huh? Yeah. 
like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holtz have been in Turok over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. I think he still thinks he's a Holt. I feel like after the talk he had with uh, Tyler, that he'd still still be a Holt. Been a part of that family all my life. Don't matter who my parents were. I'll always be one of them deep down. All units, be advised. Teenagers seen at 12 Shit. Shit. Fuck. Alright. Value love, cares for others, and acts with empathy. Trait kind, seeks to comfort and reassure others, and a quick thinker. Wow, I feel like those are not accurate to my actual person. Jesus. Fuck, I wish I could just spoil myself and see what these options were. God, there's just so much. This is a really cool fucking game. Anyways, uh, hey, I'm gonna go and end it here. I'm gonna go back to the main menu now. Enjoy this nice menu music. I'm gonna walk the dog and make a burrito. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.